Okay, so does everyone have a packet? Yeah. Okay. This uh, post questionnaire about the class, fill that out on your own time and you can turn it in at the end of class if we have time. But I want to jump into this last lesson that we have for today. We're going to talk about cash flow. We're going to talk about good cash flow, adequate cash flow, and what poor cash flow is. You want to um, write down somewhere on your paper that cash flow is increase or decrease of money you have left over after you've paid your monthly expenses. Do you need me to repeat that? Okay. Cash flow is an increase or decrease in the amount of finances you have left over after you've paid your monthly expenses. And you may want to put into parentheses household or whatever that may be. Mm-hmm. Household. Mm -hmm. So it's what you have left over basically after you've paid your bills. Good cash flow is considered $150 or more. <laughs> and that seems to be a low number, but $150 or more. So Statistics wise, if you have $150 or more left over once you phase your bills, that's considered good cash flow. Adequate, adequate, I'm sorry, adequate <laughs> cash flow is considered anywhere from $50 to $150. Okay. You have left over, right? Cool. But we're still saying more, right? Right. I want to put in there at least five hundred to two thousand dollars, because we're looking to be millionaires, right? Great stewards of our finances, right? Okay. Poor cash flow. Less than fifty dollars. Now I'm not knocking anyone if that's all that you may have, because remember, this class we're teaching how to become debt free, right, and how to eliminate debt. So this is what would be considered as poor cash flow, right? So each and every time after we're done paying our household expenses, those things that we talk about, secured, credit, charge cards, installment, service agreements, which are our utility bills and things like that, right? Let's just say, for instance, keep in mind, okay, we know that men, they go and get groomed, they get their haircuts, women, we like to keep our hair and nails done, different things like that. but. You want to avoid overspending. A lot of times we feel like, okay, we got to go out to eat all the time. We got to make every event, right? <laughs> right? Traveling, yeah. taking trips. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing is wrong with that no. because I'm so for living. You know, you want to live your life. But you want to have boundaries set. You don't want to do these things and then you look up, you don't have anything left over. You don't even have anything left over for an emergency. Oh, right. Mm. Right. Can you hold the questions to after class? Thank you. I'll get right with you though. Okay. But still just write it down and hold it because for the short time. Um, so as it relates to good cash flow, adequate, adequate cash flow, and poor cash flow, you want to keep those things in mind. I want to keep in mind I'm paying my bills, but at the same time, I want to be responsible and I want to start, you know, allowing myself to become self-disciplined, to have money left over. It feels good when you have a little something left over. You're able to look at it and say, you know what, I did good this month. Amen. Because we're all about growing and not making the same poor choices and decisions as it relates to our finances and credit. This is what this class and this course is all about. So we're going to move on to the next slide. <laughs> 